This is funny. Missy wants to go outside, but the chickens are there and she's afraid to go through the porthole <laughs> because she knows she's going to get pecked if she goes through that hole. So she's just going nuts because she wants to go out. I'm going to open the other door for her. Poor thing. She has to go out and poop. I just know it. All right, come on, Missy. I'm going to open the other door for you. Come on, Missy girls. Come on. I'm going to go, go out this way. All right, I'm going to let her out this way because I know she's got to go poop. And the chickens are coming looking for her. Are you hungry? Want some food? Yes? Okay, I'm gonna go get it ready. You're gonna wait for me here? All right, I'll be back. You are looking at a woman that has a crazy idea and it's starting to sink in. And I'm scared of this idea cleaned up my patio I got rid of some stuff that was here and it's it's so big in here it's really big I don't need this much space I can move the table over further so all this is space here would be empty the table I would move this way I have lots of space here for the table lots of space so I can move the table a lot of this stuff I can move that's no big deal so right here where this beam is right here I can put a partition from here all the way over that way got up early this morning and I'm already started to plan what I'm gonna do. This thing's not gonna stay here, but I had this in my garage and I'm gonna probably use it to insulate the coop from underneath because the, it, there's no insulation underneath. But I just put it here to kind of give me a sense of space. The wall would be here. It's early still in the morning, so that's why there's a lot of sun coming in this side here. So this is a lot of space. This is huge. Here, I'm going to put a shelf here, a shelving unit that I have in my garage. So there's going to be lattice. This is going to be like open lattice, um, just kind of like that lattice that's out there. It's going to look really pretty here, like a divider. A brainstorming. And this place has to be washed too, but... You want to go outside, Muffin? Come on. I don't know how this is going to work out, but I've been thinking about this a lot. And I just have to move in faith, move in action that what I'm doing is the right thing. So the table is there and I have all of this space. I'm gonna show you, I have all of this space and I think I'm gonna put move my potting table to this big giant space in my porch. So I have all of that space there and I thought, I hate, really I do. I don't like potting out there. It's a mess out there. When the hurricane or the winds come, all this stuff flies all over the place. So I thought that this would be a good spot to do like storage area here for my potting oh i gotta go inside it's like 40 degrees it's so cold out here um i'll talk to you from in here because it's super super cold today <laughs> so what i'm thinking i'm gonna do is i am gonna divide that into a potting station because i would have loved to have like a little potting shed but i'm not gonna buy a potting shed because they're expensive but i have my screen porch i can use that for as a potting station and then I thought that would be perfect because that could be a place where I could put my chickens at night only. The weather gets bad, if it's rainy, if it's bad, they can come over here. So I'm still trying to figure out in my head how I'm going to work all of that. Um, because I do want to make a division between here, the dining area and that area. But at the same time, what that's going to do is close off... Um, a portion of my porch so I'm not really gonna have such an open view but it's also gonna be more useful and I want to be able to use the space and uh, grow plants and stuff like that so out there everything gets wet it's soaked there's bugs it gets dirty everything falls on the floor when it's windy I gotta go out there and pick it up so it just doesn't work for me back there besides it's also facing north and it's cold over there so in the summertime, this area here is pretty insulated because the roof that I had put here for my porch is pretty insulated. So I'm kind of debating what I'm going to do. But I think that 
what I need to do is move the shelves and put them here so that I can get an idea of the space and what I want to do there. So I know it's extra work, but I'm going to do that now. I'm not going to use the shelves that are out in the porch, in the in the patio area because they're black. And I really don't want to darken up the space with the black one. So I have a like a lighter brown and I have a beige one in my garage that has other stuff. So I'll use those shelves for out here and then those that are out there, I'll move them into the garage because they're black so I don't really need to see them in the garage so I'm gonna get to it today and the first thing I'm gonna do is go in the garage and take all the stuff off of the shelf move the shelf out here and hopefully by then it'll be warmer and I could film that but right now I'm gonna be in the garage doing that stuff oh that's cold all right so it's a big mess over here it just always looks messy and I don't like the way it looks and I'm getting ready to do my stuff and I'm not inspired at all because of just it just looks junky but I do need the storage space I do need this stuff I need to be able to put my peat moss and just uh, there's just a lot, of, a lot of organization and then when it gets windy all of this stuff flies all over again so I want to do something else and maybe do something else with this space maybe plant some stuff here I don't know maybe make like a little sitting area here I don't know I don't know what I want to do with this particular space right now but I do know that I don't like the potting here at all so I'm going to definitely clean this up and move all of this out of the way and maybe what I'll do is I'll move the barbecue and make this like an outdoor kitchen instead of doing it there because I have other plans for the airstream and that I'm going to tell you what's going on with that in a in a few days the potting area here is going to be way better and then it will always be in my head because I'm always going to be seeing it here versus way out there where I forget about it or it's just a mess it's just a mess so I really want to clean that area up so let's get to it let's get to the garage I'm going to show you the shelf over there it's a big mess in here but this is the shelf so this is the color shelf that I want to put in the porch and then this is the other shelf also now a lot of the stuff that is in this shelf it's stuff that is for the chickens. I don't need to have this in the garage. So I can have this outside. I have a lot of uh, bedding. I have the tarp and all of the stuff that could be out there. Now, this is my kitchen stuff. So this will stay here in the garage. This is my outdoor kitchen stuff. I have my solar oven, my rocket stove, my big pot. If I had to bo boil water outside, I have, you know, this, this, this can be outside too in the shelf. So I just want to clean up the space because the garage is like getting fuller and fuller and fuller. And it's hard sometimes to walk in here. And I just and I got all of the stuff that I got to sell too when I put it on Marketplace. So I just want to get that potting area organized. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take all of this stuff out. And I'm just going to put it here on the floor. Put Move the shelf. And then eventually I got to go outside. And move all this stuff off of those shelves and bring them over here. So I moved the cabinet, the shelves over here, which I, love, I like. I don't hate it. I know they're not full, so I can still see through. I think it's going to be good. The lattice is going to be attached to the shelves, and it's not going to be to the wall. I could really make this space as big or as small as I want. I don't have to go to the beam. That's what I'm trying to say. So I'm kind of just putting it where the beam is to see how much space I have there. But it doesn't have to be that wide. I can go smaller and have more space over here on the table. So right now I have to go to the garage and pick up the mess I left there. This part will get done later. And that's what it's looking like. So I don't hate it. Now I have this lattice here that I put up for privacy when I was in the potting area. So I'm going to take it down because I'm not going to need it here anymore. And I'm going to I'm going to end up using it here to, to be to, to be on this side. So I'll probably have to buy a couple more. Chicks, you want to get away for Avi? Get away for Avi. Exciting, exciting news here on the homestead today. But the exciting news is my third and my last is in there trying to lay. Did you lay the egg? I don't think you did it yet. Okay, you stay in there. Okay, I'm going to close the door. Watch your head. We'll come back and check on her in a few minutes. She was nice and quiet in there, but she was chirping. Yeah, that's her making noise over there. All right, we'll wait and see what happens. I'll come back later. I'm cooking dinner now. Did you lay your egg, Avi? Yeah. All right, so this is the egg. It's nice and warm. She's super hungry. She's been in the box for a while. And of all the chickens, I was excited for Avi to hatch her to lay her egg because I was told that this breed was going to give me blue eggs. So it's 
brown, but I don't know if it changes color over time. So we'll wait and see what happens. It's still nice and warm. I'm so glad. So now I got three chickens laying. So it's super exciting today. Good morning, everybody. Starting my day today with finishing up this area over here. I'm going to get this organized now. I got the garage organized. I'll show you that in a minute. And it got cold yesterday afternoon, so I decided to stay in and work on some other things that I'm doing for Bible study. But it's still cold here. It's in probably 50 degrees now. Well, cold for us. Um, so this is what it's looking like. It, I just kind of tore it apart and left everything here. And sure, I'm glad that I'm doing this. I'm so motivated to have my own little uh, pretty space over here for potty. It's right off the garden. So it's making so much sense to me now. And I can't take the credit for that because that was God who was leading me. Because he knows that I'm not motivated out there to do anything. Um, plus, I'm also dealing with weather and wind out there and rain. And here, I don't have an excuse. I can take care of my plants nice over here. So um, I did have the lattice that I'm going to end up buying two more lattices. And this is going to be the wall. I'll show you that in a few minutes. This is actually going to be attached to the shelving unit. And that's why I'm using the shelving unit because I don't want it, this to be permanent in case I want to take it down in the future. That's the same thing that I did with the chicken run and chicken coop and all of that. It can be moved from there. So one of the things that I am thinking about this space here, because it is so large, it's going to be my planting area and storage uh, for my fertilizers and all of those things. So I don't have things outside anymore because during hurricanes, that stuff just, just flies away and I don't want that to be out there. But... Another thing I'm thinking is I might build like some kind of a coop where I can house my chickens during storms out here in this little area. I'm gonna get this place organized. I'm gonna first, I'm gonna start here first, turning the shelf, organizing the shelving systems where I want it first. And then I'm gonna go get the stuff that's outside. All right, so I just wanna show you how big this space is. This space is really, really large, really large. So because I am going to be attaching that is going to be my wall, I don't need to make this that, that big. If I want to, I can actually move the shelving unit a little bit more and make the space a little bit bigger for the dining area. I don't have any plans or anything. I just know what I want to store. Like I have the shavings, I have the tarp for the garden, stuff for the chickens that I need out here, the, the carrier, everything that has to do with being out here. Missy is super enjoying the sun today. She loves it when I'm out here. Super excited because I just pulled out my first carrot. These are the first ones that I planted and they're called Dante. I don't think they're very big. So I have some more in the ground, but I'm going to try this and I'm going to give my chickens the greens because they're going to love it. All nice and clean and washed. Now it looks super orange because it looked pretty bland before. So I'm going to try it and we'll see how it tastes. This is my first time eating a raw homegrown carrot. Okay, here we go. It's sweet. It's juicy. It's juicier than the carrots in the store. Mmm, it's a good time. Oh, and it's not as hard as the ones in the store. Very good carrot. Mm, I'm excited. I got a whole bunch. And these did well in the cold because they're underground. Anything underground did good. I put tarp on it anyway, but it did good. On my way to give the chickens a treat. I'm going to take one last bite. I don't know if this was ready to harvest. It tastes really good, but it's still green on the top. So maybe it needed a little bit more time. I don't know. Let me know down below. This is the Dante carrot. All right, chick chicks. I'm going to eat this. Mm. Come on. Oh, how about it? chickens are funny and I split it up for them but they're looking at me like what is that they like the carrot but I don't know about the greens the girls are too spoiled we'll come back later and see if they're done 
This is what I got for now. I finished cleaning all of this up. That's going to recycling, so don't worry about that. But all of these pots, I got to clean them out, take the dirt off. These are the ones that died during the freeze. My papaya, my sweet potato. What I did was I took out all of that potting stuff here. And I put this shelf here because it's the super biggest and I keep my compost, my peat moss here. Chairs are broken because the chickens like to sit on them. So I kind of left them there for the chickens. They like to perch on them when they're in this area. I left one there. That's my barbecue. This is going to be an outdoor kitchen here. I don't think I'm going to do it here anymore. I got plans for the hair stream coming up. It's still a secret. It's in the works. Anyway, this whole thing that I did, I thought it would be nice, but the chickens just wrecked it all. This much I'm going to clean up this week and I'm going to put it in the flower beds and I'm going to just leave this alone probably get some gravel in the probably by march i'll probably order some gravel and get some gravel put in here just like you know like river stone i have to clean this up but that's because i have to clean up the airstream for what's going to happen I finished cleaning up all of the leaves i left some over there because i don't want weeds growing over there but this is the carrot that i was telling you about see how they're coming in the carrots it's a whole bunch so these are coming in and these are planted later my cilantro is still alive it started to bolt but came back my basil is good my spinach is still good lettuce chard is doing good uh, i got this on my pepper tree that died in the freeze lettuces those died i gotta clean that out oh i do have more i do have more carrots in here i forgot i had the actually these carrots are older than the other ones one of these out oh yeah this one's definitely these are done i gotta get these out this week that's another Dante. Okay, so those are those are carrots, and I want to use the bucket for something else. So I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna do carrots anymore in the bucket. These are lettuce, mustard. That's just weeds because my beets never came up. The frost was like three days later after I put the beets in. My radishes, I have already harvested a couple of them, but these are still in there. I put potatoes in here from the store. My celery is here, but there's also weeds growing there. Here, all of my pumpkins died in the freeze. Butternut squash, all of that. I got a spinach growing here. Some, I think this is chard. Rainbow chard. I think that's what that is. This, I'm pretty sure, is just weeds. That's taken over. There was cel there was lettuce planted there, but I don't think they grew. And what grew there is weeds. And here's my arugula. And there's also some weeds growing in between. Nothing planted there. I have my cauliflower here. These are my kale, all of my kale plants are here. This is my Brussels sprouts over here. This is my cabbage. This, I've never seen this before, flowering broccoli, okay? I don't know what the heck is going on with that, but that's what's going on. And then this is my rapini, they're also flowering too, so that is weird. My ginger died, but they're coming back. This is my first winter, I'm learning a lot. I can tell that my soil is still not very nutritious for my plants because even though I put compost and put some soil amendments that helped, the soil is still not perfect. I ordered like kelp and some other stuff that I ordered. And I'm gonna be getting worms too so they can start working on the compost. Look at this carrot, this one's gonna be good too. transplants the, the little pots that I'm going to transplant because I decided that is the best way for me to garden is from what I learned last year my first year gardening was to do the transplant so that I can mulch around the plants that gives the plant the most success rate versus seeds and then I got all of these weeds coming up all around it so that doesn't work for me I've already laid out the map for the garden this year and now I'm setting up that that little space inside my porch because my porch is I don't think you realize how big my porch is my porch is half the size of my house so I have the living area in the porch the people come over and the weather is nice we like to sit outside me I, I like to sit outside all the time whenever I can during this kind of weather my doors are open I just enjoy the weather and I work outside too I thought about getting garden shed but garden sheds are sheds in general are super expensive now so I just thought well I'll just take a portion of this and it just it took me out so nice I'm so excited and that way I can be close to the house and 
chickens because last year if you remember we had storms that came up we also had the very rainy season and we had hurricanes we have those here in florida from june all the way to november so it's important for me to be able to move my chickens out from under the tree when bad weather comes and that's one of the reasons that i'm doing the division in my porch is because the floor there is concrete and I don't mind them being there. I mean, I would have them corralled in some way. And that's something that I'm still thinking about how to do that, keep that in that porch area as well. So when the bad weather does come, they have a nesting box and they have um, a little space to be in, in there. That's my plans anyway. are here the seeds are here oh my gosh I can be here all day banana peppers oh I love banana peppers those are great this one is the pickling one national pickling cucumber container variety hmm $1.99 I think I'm gonna get that I get so excited. There's so many projects, but I just got to concentrate on what I can do this right now and then come for the other stuff because then my head gets scattered and then I have like things all over the house. So I just have to really concentrate on that for now. I'm going to look for some kind of a string that I can use under the fence. I'm in the garden section looking for that for the chickens, but that's just too expensive. That's just way too expensive. I'm, gonna, I'm just coming here to get some ideas too. Like these, these are really nice are nice 15 bucks i'm gonna be here a while because i'm trying to get ideas for building stuff to keep the chickens out of my flower beds this year so i'm kind of just like walking around because whatever's here i can make my own stuff up that's what i usually do diys anyway i could use these and some of that green chicken plastic stuff that i have so that's an option these are 338 well this is new they've never had chicken stuff here at lowe's i guess people are buying chicken so they're these are ceramic nest eggs. Look at this. Four eggs. Mealworm treats. This is all new stuff. Wow. They have also chicken coops here. It's called the Chicken Cottage. It's pretty tiny. It's 300 but I can get it cheaper on Amazon. Here they are down here. It's the first time I've ever seen Lowe's carrying chicken stuff, but that's because in my area, people are carrying chickens. This is what I have. I have this kind of fencing that I could use. I just don't know if I'm gonna like it in green, but I'm not. This stuff is like 15 feet. It's not gonna do much for me. I know it'll keep the chickens out. I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. I think I'm gonna use the one that I have, and then if that doesn't work, I can always spend money. This is the month I've got to get stuff during this warmer weather before the heat really comes in. So yeah, I'm gonna use the poultry netting for now. I'm looking for stakes though. I don't see any wooden stakes, so I'm gonna go inside and see maybe where the wood is. They have them in there. They have these big ones here. But well, I don't see the smaller wooden stakes. And I know I have some at home. The wood stakes here. Oh, one by twos. This is a better price. I'm not doing that project today, but I just wanted to get the price. I'm here with the lattice. I was going to grab what was there, but he told me they're coming two size holes. And I realized the one I have is the wider one. So he's got to go up there and get them for me. They're way up there because they ran out down here. Down here, they ran out of them. So he's going to... He's gonna go up there and grab those for me. All right, luckily I asked somebody and they brought me here to this section. There's, a, I'm gonna get this one. It's 200 feet of multi-purpose wire. I'm gonna put this under my fence. It's galvanized, so it should be good. Still waiting for the lattice. I told the guy my card is here, right here where the lattice is. I said I'm gonna go to get the wire and something else over there, and I'll come back. I just just put it here where my card is. Well, I came back. The guy's gone. 
typical Lowe's, Home Depot employees, they, they just, they take off. So I had to go find somebody else so they can call an employee to come out here. And it's not lunchtime. So hopefully they're not having coffee break time. You're gonna get it. I got my stuff here all my stuff for this project that i'm doing and when i get ready to do the other projects i'll come back for this stuff because i just cannot get overwhelmed it can get overwhelming sometimes when you're doing too many projects at once but i'm gonna finish this one this week i gotta be careful i can't see where i'm going i can hardly see anything i gotta watch out That was work. I'm gonna have my breakfast now. I gotta get to Walmart and a bread. So good. All right, I'm on my way. Sweating over here. I gotta turn the car on. <gasps> oh, I some mess. I put oh, all these things. Oh, I a mess. Ah, look at the way this is in there. Wherever. Oh, I'm gonna finish my coffee too. Wow, this banana coat is good and it's warm. Oh, oh, oh my feet. Oh, me not gonna eat it. Mm, I have a big giant walnut in frozen piece i like to get up when i have to go to lowe's and home depot and those kind of places i like to get up i don't even like the chickens porridge i get up i get dressed and i'm out the house those places i do not want to be there in the afternoon i have to be there early in the morning that off and that's like all over the store he just dropped it there's a whole bunch of those books in the parking lot by the cars somebody dropped it i don't know what it is i'm afraid to touch it because nowadays people put things and if you're curious that's how the deceptor comes into your life so here's another one here's another one of those books see i'm very tempted i'm one of these people that i'm like tempted to read what it says but it says national sunday law and they know that a lot of people are patriots here, but I'm not going to touch it because what happens is you don't know what's in there. There could be powder. There could be disease. This is how they want to spread the stuff nowadays. You got to be careful. You. This is what God taught me. He said, mind your business. 
follow him and trust him only i don't need to read a book to know what's happening in this world and how bad things are oh my gosh i'm so tempted in that book over there but because i want to see what it says but guess what i ain't touching it i ain't touching it. i'm different now i'm a different person i'm on my business i live holy i live righteous and i only listen to god and god and god tests us too he tells us to test people right you see a lot of the evil happening in our world right well if God tells us to tell pe test people, doesn't he want to test us? Because when times are bad, if we're so busy always paying attention to everybody around us, what if God says to you, get out of there, move, get up in the middle of the night, and he says to you, get up and get out, get out of the house, walk out of the house, maybe a bomb's going to drop or something's going to happen. How are you going to be able to know that if you don't know who God is? If he's not taking you slowly through this walk because so many years you've been living in Egypt following what everybody else does what's on the news and you're not listening to your internal the internal voice of God so sometimes he tests us like that like that book could be nothing but he's telling me don't touch that he's testing me because the old Lydia would have picked that book up and I would have been like watching. It could be propaganda to try to get people to sway their minds from things. It could be there's COVID or some other thing and they're trying to spread it. And it doesn't surprise me with this day and age, all of the tactics that they're using against us. Because obviously you can see that there's a war happening within our country. And this species has taken control, the, the evil species, bloodlines, have taken control. and she peed on herself she was sleeping over here by the door she peed on herself and she was laying on it so i'm gonna grab a towel here keep them behind my garage door so that i can rinse her she's soaking wet from top to bottom she's just laid on it come on muffin you gotta get rinsed off you're a mess she's following me everywhere but she's all wet her paws are wet too so i'm gonna rinse her off now she's soaked soaked to the bones muffin turn around I'm 
seconds. Right now go down. Oh, come on. This is a little bottle that I filled up with bleach. And it's, I used to have medicine in it. And I just throw a couple of drops. Your bleach is not mixed with anything. So that way when I put her in the sink, I can bleach my sink right afterwards. I got the chickens out because they were not able to forage this morning. And they're waiting for a treat. Still got to put the groceries away. Finish mopping the floor. Missy has decided to lay down on Muffin's wet spot. Because Muffin came in here and laid down on that bed. And there's a wet spot there. I don't know if you can see it. There's a wet spot and she decided to lay right on. This is the craziness that I go through. I'm gonna be 84 today. All right, so I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give them some of this scratch grains. Yes, I've watched the videos on the tractor supply feed. I do not give my chickens tractor supply feed because tractor supply is expensive and I give them feed from Rural King because we have several Rural Kings where I live and they're way cheaper. So I'm just, I'm gonna give them just a handful because they've been good today. I don't give them this much all the time, but man, they've been really good. I got one egg when I came back. That was probably Picket. Picket is the one that lays. Baby is now laying eggs. So my basket is full. So I got my muffins over here, trying to get warm. The chickens are crazy scratching and it's so peaceful here right now. I'm so happy I got everything cleaned up. I still have to take all of these dead plants uh, out of the pots and get those pots ready. I'm gonna finish this potting area done today. I'm so excited. So many things. I have so many visions in my head for what I wanna do. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's here. So I'm gonna go see. I haven't seen one of these in a while. So excited. I better close this because these chickens, man, they are so curious. Every time I leave the porch open, if they're around, they try to get in the house. I do not want them in the house. Hello, Mr. Henderson. I think this is Harry the Henderson. Haven't seen you in a while. Hello. Hello, Harry. I think he moved over here. I got some turtle holes over here. I gotta clean this area up. But yeah, yep, you could tell he just came out of the hole because he's got dirt all over him. Hi, Harry. Harry the Henderson, I call him. This is why I did not get the barbed wire because I don't want them to pinch themselves when they go. See the gate, the, the fence is higher here and then it goes down. So here they come in this way. They go to her house, they go to my house. I love when they come on my property. And I got several. This used to be one of the holes. Right here, there's one. That This one they don't use anymore, but there's a, there's a hole that goes in there. It's just in there. I gotta watch when I mow the grass. Missy girls. All right, so I decided that I'm gonna take this one off, this green one, because I'm gonna use this to keep them out of my flower beds, the chickens. And I'm gonna put this kind on. This one is so much nicer. It stays on. This one falls falls down a lot. And this one just stays on. I put, you remember my video when I did this, I put these like these uh, cut up uh, shopping bags, plastic ones here so that no bird or no animal tries to get up here because they're going to see that moving in the wind and they're not going to want to climb. Remember that snake that got up on my in my garden? So I bought some more of this at Lowe's. It's like seven bucks. And I bought some so I can do the whole front because this keeps falling off. And I eventually am going to use this for the flower beds with some stakes. So those are the plans. That means I've got to cut all of this off. So I'm so glad I did this all with zip ties because now I've had this for not a year yet, but I've been able to realize what works and what doesn't work here for me. And it just doesn't look nice from the street. Like you see this, you see the fence area, but then you see this big green thing there. And it just, I just don't like the way it looks. So if you look with the other one in the back from the street, you can't see it. I mean, you might just see like the little flags. That's about it. But that's all you're going to see. I really prefer this than the green one. So that's why I bought another roll of that today. And then I'm gonna be taking this one down this week so I can use that for my flower beds. You came to visit Harry too? He's over there. You came all the way here to see Harry, didn't you? Here he goes, here he goes. All right, I gotta go inside because I gotta put the groceries away. And look at this, so cute. Oh, she packed muffin. Oh, hey, Haven. You leave her alone, Haven. 
What are you doing? Oh, Muffin, are you okay? Oh my gosh, are you okay, Mama? Did you hit your head? Oh my goodness. Did you okay, Mama? Oh, you girls, you drive her crazy. She can't even think. Come on, Mama. Oh, it's a mess here. I'm so glad to be home. Oh, oh my gosh. If I leave this stuff here, they're going to eat it all. Check your head. Here, come on, lay up here. Head off here, Mama. I can't resist. Next month is going to be the big strawberry festival here in Florida. I've never been there, so hopefully I will take you with me because I'm planning on going. I can't wait. They're actually, I think I paid $228 for a, for a whole, what are they, quart, a quart of this. Oh, God. For prepping, I bought some of this at Walmart. This is like, I think it's 7 bucks for this. This is iodine. This is great for cut. You should have one of these because you can also use this on your animals as well. And I don't have any. My dad was really big on this. He'd put this on us all the time and we never got infections. So this is a good thing to have. finished the porch I took a shower did my nails and did my hair let it dry naturally today it's getting really curly gray hair is coming in as you can see loving the space I can't wait to get into it this week I'm wearing a sundress because it's 82 today here in Florida this is the wall that I built because now I have a room back there it's my gardening room I put some stuff hanging here because it's kind of like it detracts from the shelving unit. This shelving unit doesn't look too bad. There are things that I need here. I have my raincoat here, some hats that I wear when I garden, and just some decoration here. It's like it's a wall. This I have to paint and wash. So I only put it in with some of these ties so I can open it. This is my doorway in here. And this is the space that's in here. So a lot of things I'm going to change. I'm going to get some new plants, get rid of those plastic plants. All of that's going to happen. I got to wash the tablecloth, just scrub the floors over here. They've gotten pretty dirty, just a whole bunch of things. But I just wanted to show you. So my room is here and I still got to clean this up. Now I just hung those up. Those are the ones that I cut. I hung them there because I didn't know where to put them, but I know I want to use them for something. So I'm going to be using this for landscaping and my flower beds. The wire also I have here for the fence the bird netting i already told you i was going to change I have some pots that i have to paint i'm going to get rid of this plastic stuff and put some fresh real plants in there and here on my potting table i have a little garbage can which is just a can with a bag in it then this i have here so i can rinse my hands off and then i have a towel here so i can dry my hands my cabinet is here all the things that i use my chicken stuff is up here and my all oh, my my tarp and my for the cold weather and my burlap is here so i can cover plants when it's cold i have my planting sticks over here that i've got to use for now when i transplant and just you know bedding for the chickens i'm going to keep that here just all of this is pretty much bedding for the chickens and then uh, my soil amendments i'm putting them in that still got to order some more stuff and I've got little tiny pots in the brown one. The bigger pots are all here. And then I bought some clay pots today for my herbs. 
got to get rid of all of the old plants that are in there and put some fresh soil in there with that soil and so i can start planting seeds um herb seeds there loving the space i have the curtains here so i have some privacy when i'm working here which is really nice I have a door that goes out to the garden which is great my plan is eventually at some point if i have to bring a chicken coop i can put it here and move the shelf over or i can put a chicken coop over here a small one for the chickens so i can have them possibly in that little corner there i'll put like a little fence here temporary fence so that they can be in this area if this if it's stormy out so i got my tools down here I got an empty bucket. I got a stool so I can sit. And of course, this I use a lot in the garden, this little crate that I use there. And I got chairs outside to sit. See how nice this just closes here. If I ever have to lift the chickens in this area, do not want the chickens getting into the patio. I can't close that off when the chickens are there during storms. It's a beautiful day here today. The grass is starting to come in, the green. You see the dead? And the weeds are coming in chickens are really enjoying new weeds are coming in so i hope that you enjoyed this little video you can do so much with zip ties you can put up a wall just like i did just out of zip ties connected to shelving so you can have your own little space like i did for gardening it's going to be a super space for me i'm going to be working on it this week so stay tuned subscribe to the channel so you can see me working in there got a lot of planting to do this year a lot of things i got to get done so i hope you will subscribe and stay tuned i'll see you next time bye Hey, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.